If you are graduating from uh, university, it's happening all around now, I think, isn't it? That time of the year? That time of the year. I'm not going to say I'm available to fill in for uh, Condi Rice at the last minute if you need me to, but available. Uh, the average class, the average 2014 graduate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I What's just that? think like from like the Rutgers class of, you know, America, security and opportunity in the 21st century with Condoleezza Rice to I have little sleep, expand <laughs> social security in the 21st century. And F. Condi Rice. And F. Condi Rice. <laughs> with that, would be my that would be a much more popular speech. My first, uh, no my, doubt. The first thing I would say to them is party, but enjoy your sleep. Because I got news for you. It's, not it's about a pleasure to be here today because I'm away with my away from my kids. That's right. <laughs> it's not about not partying. It's not about not destroying your adrenal system. But it's also being mindful that in the future you're going to be destroying your adrenal system, but That's for right. no fun reason. I look out amongst you students, and I can only think of my own children and how they have shackled me <laughs> and will cause me. The same, um, well, let's one more tangent. Do you remember Al Franken had a bit once where, you know, he used to do those bits where he's just a, a, and like an asshole. And he would, he did this thing where he was supposed to be invited. He thought he was invited to Harvard, but he realized he was invited to like the Hartford Technical State Institute. And the whole graduation speech is like, I apologize in advance. I had written this speech for Harvard, so you <laughs> probably won't understand anything I'm saying. <laughs> and he just proceeds to insult them the whole time. It was very funny. All right, let's go ahead with this. The average class of 2014 uh, will graduate with student loan debt of about $33,000. This is an analysis uh, done by... Advisors, a group of websites plan about planning and paying for college, even after adjusting for inflation, that's nearly the double the amount borrowers had to pay back 20 years ago. And I had a graphic. Gosh, I don't know where that went. Of just how much tuition at state colleges has gone up in the past 10, 15 years. We've talked about this. This. There is no doubt. That when you raise the cost of tuition at public schools, the cheaper schools, it pushes, it puts pressure on private universities as well to raise their prices because they can. Because the calculation is we can charge X percentage more than the lowest cost competitor. And, and then, of course, you step in and you make uh, more loans available and you make these loans impossible to discharge, even under bankruptcy, and that's what you get. 70% of this year's bachelor degrees recipients are leaving school with student loans up from less than half of the, uh, the graduates in the class of 1994. That is also stunning. In 20 years, we've seen an explosion of 20%. 20 percentage points, I should say. 2014 rested the, I guess, dubious title of most indebted graduating class ever from the graduating class of 2013. Now, we still know that uh, college, a college degree gets you higher pay uh, and increases your chance of being employed. Not to mention the fact that a college degree makes you a better citizen, or theoretically. 
2012, the most recent year for which data are available, workers with just a bachelor's degree were making a median salary of $47,000 a year, while the average student loan balance for people under 30 was $21,000. Unbelievable. It's affecting uh, first-time uh, buying. I mean, uh, people know what the implications are of this. And basically, between the IRS and the Treasury Department, we are the uh, nation's largest debt collectors. I just, I almost wonder, I mean, in some respects, if it's even ethical to pay back these debts in some respects. Like, I, I, I just think that there needs to be some type of collective action on this because it's just, a, it, it's stunning. And there's no economic there, there's not even within a flawed logic can you justify it. I mean, like, prices just keep going up. And Loans are made available. There's no choice because and I it's will, still the right decision to do if you can do it. And it's just a funnel. I look, mean, that's it. We've had this debate on this program uh, on multiple occasions. Libertarians will tell you that the, um, that the, the increase in government loans and backstop private loans— has added to the inflation rate of universities. While I imagine there's some of that, but the data simply doesn't bear it out. That's a the, secondary effect. The, the, the data does not bear it out. But I will concede that I think student loans by the government are inefficient. There's no reason we should be making money because the government does make money significant money off of people going to college. What we should be doing is spending more federal dollars to pump more money into state universities. Every dollar, and we should start with every dollar that comes in for, from a student loan, should then be sent back to the states, specifically earmarked, to offset tuition costs at state colleges and universities. And then we should get rid of the student loan program the day after we start uh, putting more money into higher education and guarantee multiple free options in every state or as close to free as possible. 